an invasive and destructive insect continues to grow in our region. Now, new research at Penn State hopes to make a difference in the fight against the spotted lanternfly. Irvin Hinckley explains how it could lead to a natural way of dealing with this pest. Now, Evan, so tell us, what's the plan now to limit this invasive species in our area? Well, good evening, Amanda. The spotted lanternfly is originally from Asia, so it's new and unusual to all animals here in central Pennsylvania. But researchers at Penn State say some animals like birds and insects still may find the spotted lanternfly tasty and actually could add it to their mainstay diet. A key study being done right now by the university aims to see how many different types of local birds have an appetite for the fly. Now to do this, Penn State researchers are looking for help from the public to send in pictures like those you see now of birds eating the lanternfly. Researchers are also doing research related to the tree of heaven. That's the lanternfly's favorite tree to eat. Now it's believed that this tree has chemicals that could make the fly taste bitter to some birds. But researchers we spoke with say that the fly could still adapt, uh, the birds, excuse me, could still adapt and learn to eat the fly regardless. We have gotten reports of them feeding on these things. And what we are also asking people to do is report any behaviors that they notice when the bird is feeding. Do they pull the wings off? Do they seem like they're kind of tasting something that irritates them? So they're wiping their beak off or shaking their head or anything like that. And there's more to this study than just birds. Scientists will also look at insects like spiders, praying mantis, and even assassin bugs who, as you can see by these pictures, look to have developed an appetite for the lanternfly as well. Reporting live here in State College, Evan Hinckley, WTAJ News.